Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 27 degree, oh, uh, what are we, Wednesday today, the 17th of April? It's crazy. We're getting that cold in the mornings. Don't you wonder, are we springing forward into summer or falling back into winter? But then it gets up to, you know, supposed to be 60 today. But uh, it's just the way it is. But it's beautiful, even though it's very cold. It's supposed to be mostly sunny today or totally sunny today once the fog burns off. Be a good day. But anyway, it's time to go to work. Let's hit the road. Y'all come on along. Remember I was telling you guys not too long ago when you, the sun was up there that one of these days the sun will be almost as high as the roof there. We're getting there. It's funny you come off of that hill and get out of the fog. How nice it is down here. Somebody poured out some kind of a drink. And I gotta crawl back in the car. It's hard enough getting out. I just, you know what happened there. Somebody just opened the door and poured it out right there on the ground. Along with a cigarette butt. There's no hope for humanity. It makes you wonder sometimes. Boy, that sure feels good standing here in the sun though. Holy moly. Nice. The guys out there in that tractor tilling that thing up, making all kinds of racket. Morning forecast. It's 50 and sunny here in Vancouver. Not a cloud in the sky. It's much better than the foggy, frozen area yeah. we left. It all popped right out of the fog by the time we got down to the gas station. Mm -hmm. That was nice. It has yeah. been sunny all the way here. Sure, That's yeah. one of those dead gum. The we call them the wings, but one of the rotors for the yeah the grip windmills. Wind. Yeah, that creates a nightmare. Oh man, yeah. Jeez. Anyway, yeah. still made it here early. Yeah, which is good. Yep. Well, Mama? Yes, I hope. We made it Wednesday? Yep, we are Wednesday. We're at hump day. Good Lord. I know. I'm yeah. almost on the other side. Yep. Hurt near there. Yep. <laughs> All right, Mama. Have All yourself right. a wonderful Wednesday. You too. I'll see you in the passings. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye now. <laughs> bye. Let's take a CEO 4 Electric scooter for a rip. This is the 2023 model. It's been sitting out here warming up, you know. <laughs> Darn nothing. Oh. Darn nothing to warm up. And you give it gas and you go. Might have to wear earplugs for this one though. She's pretty loud. Got a new uh, customer taking this thing home today. Ain't that exciting? I brought it down because uh, it's uh, the service due date has come by. Woo. So I did that, check tire pressures and I'm just going to do a quick around the block thing here with it. The thing about these things, they definitely have some power. Sorry about all the shield noise. It feels very well planted. Actually, has a fantastic feel to it. It's so long. I worry about going <laughs> over speed bumps. Is it gonna? Is it gonna skid to the bottom? This EV stuff sure is fun. Crazy fun. It's a trip to ride something. You don't hear that sound, but yet you just got this incredible power. 
that's just always there there's no revving up to it it's just there oh it stalled hold on let me start it up again <laughs> He's really nice, like crazy nice. Got that big old display going on up there. That's um, kind of special. The EV bike passes the EV car. That's gonna be our world here before you know it, you know it? Probably should be going through there so fast, huh? Travis says, you want that CEO 4? He goes, I'll give you a smoking deal on it. Maybe I should have asked him what the price was. They're just not overly popular for us. It just doesn't doesn't fit. If we were across the river in Portland, it'd probably fly out of here like hotcakes. But there's always an alarm going off when I come through here. You know, you guys notice that? Very very nice to ride. It feels just incredibly solid, just like not a regular scooter. fun as heck to ride one of these things around but as you know we're on the heels of a uh, BRP unleashing some cool cool stuff on us I'm excited very excited Wow, and it's in rain mode. Oh, my lord. Good. How about dynamic? Oh, my lord. Wow. Wow, the comp... <laughs> I, guess, I guess it's the regenerative thing, but it's like compression braking. You back off, and it's... Wow, that is strong. That feels so good. Wow. Oh yeah, holy moly. Man, it's like you're sl slamming the brakes. That is so cool. I like that a lot. Yep, it'd be dynamic mode for me, like all the time. Of course, my batteries probably wouldn't last very long. That is impressive, the pullback on that. I mean, it's literally like you're, well, it is kind of dragging the brakes. It's, it's uh, using all that energy to pummel some power back in that battery. That is impressive as holy heck. Man. That see this guy's back out today. Ooh, little speedy bump. Oh, got a good look at it because it's uh, it's in the shade. <laughs> Don't have as much contrasting light. Keep forgetting to pull that shield back up. I sound all muffled when that thing's down. But I get a that screen is literally funneling the air right in my right in my face. We got a. Oh, I smell diesel. That actually smells like kerosene. Oh, that thing's cool. Oh, it doesn't. Oh, 
I was touching the throttle. I was about to say it doesn't allow me to roll backwards. Tricky side stand. Then when you have the side stand on, it goes into full full lock. She's a trippy looking thing. Very futuristic looking. But very impressive. Holy moly. CE04 BMW Motorrad. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at the disc looking wheels and stuff. That's awesome. That's actually really cool. That's something I like to spend a lot of time on. <laughs> cool beans. All you need is a fob handy. Hit the start button. Don't need to hold the start button. Oh, I'm such a meathead. What a complete knucklehead. Got so wrapped up in how you start it to get, get it going. I forgot that it's got a power button down there. Not ready to, oh, please apply brake. Now we're ready. That was interesting. <laughs> I forgot that it had the keyless ride switch sitting down here. So excited riding the thing, I lost my mind there a little bit, didn't I? Yeah, that has developed into a, a fully functional hole right there. One thing about these EV, oh. Man, rolling off that throttle is absolutely magical. Wow, that's fun. Well, hope you like that new BMW sound. This is that new motor. She sounds really good. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna bounce. Unique uh, oil filter they're using in these things now. Drain plugs are, because it's like I say, it's a dry sump motor. You got two plugs on this one side. You got one directly underneath and then one on the side. And there's this unique like plunger thing to make sure that the oil's always being picked up correctly. Whether you're doing wheelies or stoppies or whatever, it's kind of unique. Have a neat setup, these things. They thought of everything. Must have been working on this thing for quite some time. Yep, all new stuff. We like the new stuff. Got a whole gaggle of O rings. Well, two of those are for the drive shaft. And he literally, Kelly already pulled it. He's got the last bottle of that fancy. Uh, G3 stuff and you know the surface is not uh, I can't show you it's it's not skimped or anything it's, it's a regular surface they just uh, BMW <laughs> doesn't pay pay very much but it's, it's enough to do it but yeah it's, it's nothing's being skimped I was kind of concerned that you know a free service would be skimped nope it's regular for surface I love the oil window on the side. That's wicked cool. Fancy, real fancy. My last thing to do to this was to top off the coolant bottle because it was sitting at the low level. The GS's, GSA's are great. There's a little access door, one screw, you're in there to the reservoir bottle. Well, this is now your how you fill it. There's the high and low mark. But you gotta take all this off. <laughs> to get to that. And on both sides, it unscrewed the, the, uh, the grub screw out of the plastic. 
That's nice. It actually goes in here very nicely, but it's not supposed to come out like that. I just unscrewed it. Just pulled it right on out. It's hollow on the bottom. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do, but that's not technically how it's supposed to work. <laughs> I say grub screw, the, the insert with the screw. The insert's supposed to stay in the plastic. So I don't know if BMW got a little wild and woolly putting that in there or what. And that thing is hooked in. She's hooked in good and tight. When you pull it out of that plastic. And these things are like working with a car. I mean, there's just literally push pins everywhere. It's just covered in them. So it makes that, you know, that old sound like you're working on scooters in the in the 80s, you know, you're pulling the body work off and it's bam, boom, makes all these crazy popping sounds, but that's, that's the way the body clips come loose. The neat little trick is underneath here is a what looks like a couple of screws. You look underneath there, you see a T25. You reach in there and put a T25 on there, and it just spins and spins and spins. Why it has a T25 hole in it, I don't know, but it's just a regular body clip. <laughs> I get under there and I go, what's going on? See, it's the same size as a T25. Just grab some clip pliers and pull her out and off she comes. But as you can see, both sides did exactly the same thing. And it looks like they got some kind of glue or something on the end there. I think that was supposed to hold it in place, but it didn't. So, anyway. All that craziness. Just the pop off the reservoir bottle. It's nuts. Well, hello there, you two. <laughs> Again, we're half an hour before sunset. She's just slipping behind the trees right now. It's that perfect time. It's a little cool, and I just feel so fresh yeah, out it's here. Quiet at the moment. Not around any kind of city pollution stuff. She's out here, and boom, dogs. Yeah smell all the grasses. The only racket we have is a Harley or two flying by and the relentless target practicing out here. Mm -hmm. I love that though. Yeah, me too. Dogs <laughs> don't like it, but yeah, they like yeah. it. Yeah, especially if they're somewhat close. And every once in a while they oh. set something off that probably not legal. <laughs> like it's a rather a loud kaboom, you know. Yeah. That, that really freaks them out. But anyway, it just feels like freedom in the country, you know. Yeah. Man, that that CE04 scooter, that thing, she's she's bizarre looking, but it's so fun and powerful. Man, that's nice. In fact, I got the CE02 training module I got to do with BMW. That and what's the other thing? Oh, the uh, the 1200Ts or whatever they call them. It's the R9Ts that are more of a cruiser looking thing. But uh, anyway, I got those modules to do. Projects. But on that, I reckon uh, we've probably done enough talking for one day, so we're going to slip out. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. All right. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, we'll do this again tomorrow. All right. Thanks for watching now. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.